Okay guys, so many of you guys know that I've been homesteading since February and I'm just going to take you on a little tour of my side garden here of what we have been doing. So I'm going to take you to my pineapple guava tree first and let you see how that's coming along since when we first planted it. It is actually looking pretty amazing. Look at that guys. You want to see where the little flowering buds are on here? Check that out. Can you guys see that? Look how cool that is. Super, super, super. It's going to have tons of fruit on there as this gets bigger and it's going to be amazing. All right, now I'm going to take you over to... This is my apricot tree right here. Oh my goodness. See the little apricot right there? The bugs are so bad. Okay, so I showed you my apricot. I'm not going to show you all the trees because I'm losing battery here. But here's my fur rose here. We have cantaloupe. We have zucchini. We have cabbage planted over here. I'm working on my corn. I'm going to start growing some corn. This was just planted. I'm going to show you the pumpkins that are popping up right here. You see this? We got some sprouts right here can you see that we have another one somewhere over here right here right here see that one so they are popping and then over here if these prairie dogs don't eat all my crop if you guys know how to prevent prairie dogs from getting your crop please comment and let me know because this has been a challenge so over here is watermelon and we had some sprouts oh we still do okay good see right there down there there's one so it's been about seven to eight days since all this stuff has been planted so i mean we're doing pretty good praying over the crop and just hoping that it all turns out can you guys see this hole that a prairie dog went in into here i've covered that they dug it back out again it is insane out here you guys not an easy task home setting there's always chores to do and then over here i got some peaches look at those those are getting really good i got some bird netting over that look at those peaches i'm gonna fill this one here and see if it's ready nope we got a little more time look at that yummy yummy peaches okay i'm gonna take you on a little walk here that's a pear tree right here my little goji berry bush back there a lime tree my lemon tree that's not doing too good because the, the gophers or the prairie dogs have decided to eat all the leaves off but it's still alive all right and our moringa tree this tree you guys is so good for for many different uses um this tree is supposed to help you. Let me get you guys close up to these flowers. They're gonna be having some little pods off of them that you can eat. This tree has a lot of benefits, so you guys should look, the, look it up online. It's the Moringa tree, and you'll be surprised how healthy that is for you. All right, let's go over here. I'll take you on this side here. Um, this was our beginning garden. We're kind of learning as we go. So this is my yellow squash down in here. See that it's doing pretty good this is all organic food guys we don't use any uh, pesticides or anything on our food we want to stay healthy and then my watermelon this is when those heavy rains hit the watermelon just sprouted up from seeds that we had and we almost gave up on them but then they just came in God said nope don't give up on them and he gave us the water for them to sow those seeds all right and this is our little planter box here this is our kale that we pick off and have salads. We've picked so much kale off of this and eat it with uh, little bowls of salad. We have bell peppers and carrots growing in here. Uh, more peppers. Over here is my eggplant, which keeps dropping the flowers, but no eggplant on it. So it's kind of annoying. I would love some eggplant. Um, some people don't like it, which is okay. And then we got our tomatoes here. You can see in here these yummy, yummy, yummy tomatoes here. Look at all these good tomatoes here. See that? And then this bush over here, see that? There's more in there. Can you see? I'm going to go to the other side so you guys can see. See the red ones in there? We'll go to the other side here. Let you see. See this? 
Look at that. Look at those red ones in there. They're almost ready for a picking. And we will pick them. And then we got some sweet potatoes. I took this from a regular potato that was rooting. And I put it in here. And by George, it grew. It's amazing what God's, uh, God's uh, little art that he can do. He provides for us, man. He definitely provides. So cool. And then as we end the night, you guys can see Twinkie over there. I don't know if you can see her. She blends in with the sand. She's definitely camouflage. I got more tomatoes over here growing. You see it here? More tomatoes, more tomatoes, more men on those. Just yet, but this one here is doing pretty good with a lot of tomatoes. Super cool. I'm going to take you to see my baby goats real quick. They're getting bigger and sassier. And uh, they're just amazing little goats. Look at them. Do you see them coming to see me? What's up, Sassy and Moringa? <gasps> Can you say hi to the camera? Can you say hi to the camera? Say hi, Sassy. Say hi, Moringa. Oh, yeah, we want to smell the camera. We want to see what's going on. We want to see what's going on. Yeah. Did you find a Cheerio? They love Cheerios, you guys. It's amazing. We have Cheerios, carrots, strawberries so far, apples. I'll see how they lay. Oh, <laughs> did you guys see that? She's like, get up. Maybe mama will give me some Cheerios. Yeah, see, why are you standing on your sister? Moringa's just comfortable because I'm here next to her. See, she's so good. So good. I've been cutting their... They're clipping their little feet from all the little calluses that they get on there. It's like a chore you have to do, you know. Theirs are pretty bad. My first time doing it ever and made them bleed a little bit. But I use my essential oils. Use a little tea tree on there to help prevent uh, bacterial infection and they are good to go. They're about to go be put away for the night. The sun has gone down, as you guys can see. And we normally put them away in their little cage at night. Keep them protected. And just look at that view that we have over here. Isn't that amazing? Amazing view. Alright guys. Well, until next time. Oily Nature Home and Wellness here. Just sharing our journey with you. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you like what you see. And give it a thumbs up. And please comment any of your questions or any um any ideas you have for me for these uh, prairie dogs, that would be great. You guys have a blessed night, and I will see you guys in the next video.